check out the new ClickSense Masterclass, which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance, enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. A super interesting topic today. How do you use strings in your measures? For example, maybe you want to do some calculation and in the end bring in a string. So how can you use that? Well, it wouldn't work with the sum, it wouldn't work with count, it wouldn't work with max, right? So what is the aggregate that you can use to pull in strings and also how can you use set expressions and co combine that to pull in a string value? Interested? Let's have a look. First, I have a table here. I've just created a inline load and the table is cars, want and speed. And over here, it's only Ferraris. I mean, who doesn't want a Ferrari, right? So I have yes and a couple of no's. We'll look into that later. So I have cars and I have Ferrari here. So let's say in the front end, I want to, in a KPI, show car name. How do I do that? Um, so if you go in the front end, I'm going to pull in here and here I'm going to say cars. And you see here that you have some count, average, min, max, and none of them is going to work because, well, it's, of course, it's a, it's a string, right? How do you sum up a string? But if you want to get that measure, all you can do is use a function called only. So what only lets you do is pull in strings. Um, must be my girlfriend. Just kidding. I have no girlfriend. Back to uh, learning. So only cars. Click on apply. And now you see Ferrari shows up here, right? But also it's because I have only one particular value here. What happens if I change this? If I change one of them, then this one wouldn't work because there are different values and then click won't know which one to pull. You know what? We could combine this with set expressions. So let's say that you actually want to pull in just one particular value, one particular string from your column cars based on some other columns. So you can actually combine this only with set expressions. So I'm going to write in a table here. So now this should work again because all the values are the same. Let me just put in a different table. Uh, I'm going to take this away. And now what I've done is I've added different cars here, right? So essentially when I run it, this one is going to stop working. You see, because I have different values here. So click is confused which string to pull in. So how about I combine set expression in this? So for example, I have a column called want and I have yes here. So maybe I could use that to pull in the right value, right? So here I have only, you know how to write set expressions. First you write your aggregate, then you start open curly braces, close curly braces. Well, I go into super in-depth in my course. Check out the link in the description below and you'll be pros in writing set expressions because I go from a super simple way to even writing really complex set expressions in a super, super easy to understand way. So if you're interested, check out my course. Um, I've got, it's got really, really good ratings. Great. So now only, and here I say my field that is want is equal to, you know how to assign a value, open and, curl, curl, open and close curly braces again. And since it's a literal value, I put it under quotes, single quotes, and I put a as what is the value here it is yes so i put yes and now this is a set expression this is still a column that has only strings in it but i've used only so this should technically work yes and now it's come here so let me just change this one to no and now if i run it this one would change and it actually works so you can actually use your strings in measures kind of cool right kind of interesting yeah i hope you guys learned something today i uh, hope it was interesting and um, i'll see you in the next one check out the link in the description below please like and subscribe peace